Good afternoon. Let's get excited to paint with faith. My name is Cynthia and I'm excited to paint with faith with you. Paint with Faith is a mobile motivational painting company. We believe that you can do all things with just a little bit of motivation, guidance, and faith. And we want you to believe that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. So repeat after me. If I believe, I can achieve. Let's try that again as if we truly believe it. If I believe, I can achieve. Great job. So throughout this art educational class, you're gonna be given a set of instructions that might seem challenging or new, but that's okay. Don't get discouraged. If you feel you hear someone say, I messed up or I can't do this. You know what I want you to do? I want you to snap your fingers. We're gonna snap the negativity out because there's no negativity in art. So snap those fingers. Let's snap that negativity away. And remember, there's no mistakes in art. So before we get started, let's make sure we have all our supplies. First, we need a bowl of water filled about halfway. And this is to paint, to wash our paintbrushes. Next, we're gonna need two paintbrushes, a large paintbrush and a small paintbrush. We'll also need a wa washcloth and this is to dry our paintbrushes when they are wet. We'll also need our tray of acrylic paints, our easel, and our blank canvas. Do you know why this is called a canvas? Because we can. I can, you can, we all can. <laughs> and one last step before we start, let's make sure we have our aprons on. We don't wanna ruin our beautiful clothes. Now that we have all our supplies ready and we're mentally prepared to paint a masterpiece, let's get started. All right, so to start, we're gonna take our large paintbrush. And in my tray of acrylic paints, I have blue, black, white, green, yellow, red, and purple. We're gonna start with the color blue. So I'm gonna dab my large paintbrush in the blue and I'm going to paint the four corners of our painting with blue. So we'll start here. Now I just went from left to right. The next dab of blue, I'm gonna go up and down on this corner. And I'm gonna let the paint drag until we kind of run out of paint on the brush on all four corners. Okay, let me do the top again here. Now before we move on to the next corner and before this paint dries, I'm gonna grab a little bit of white I'm gonna add white to this end here to kind of blend in this blue a little bit more. So the tips are kind of a lighter blue. There we go. All right, and let's do the same to the bottom here before that blue dries out. Okay, so we kind of blended the white with the blue, okay? And that's our first corner. So now let's do the bottom left corner. Grabbing our blue, we're going to go across. No need to wash your brush. Grabbing that blue, going across. Okay, and then we're gonna do it again and go upwards. Okay, and just like we did on the top left corner, we're going to grab a little bit of white and blend it back in to that blue. There we go. 
then let's do the same for the bottom. Blending that white into that center. Alright, looking good. Okay, so now let's move on to the top right corner. Grabbing our blue. Grabbing our blue and going across. Okay. Right. Let's grab a little white to blend in this middle here. Alright. And let's grab a little white to blend in this blue down at the bottom. Now, let's do the bottom right corner. Starting with blue. And going up. We're going to take some white and blend that middle again. So it's a little bit lighter in the middle and darker on the end. Let's go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Great job. Good. Now I'm going to take the white and we're going to color in without washing our brush the rest of the square with white. Okay. So let's start on the ends by the blue. It comes out to kind of a light blue, which is what we want. We kind of want it to be not so perfect. Blend in that blue in the center with our white. Right, great job. So let's keep going. Start on this side. going across the top here and then I'm also going to go down to the bottom here across okay let's grab some more white and getting all of that center painted in white with a tint hint of blue. And like I said, we want that fade of blue in random spots because we think that looks really cool. Alright. Now, Now, if we step back and take a look at our painting so far, we see that we've created a square within a square. I wanna reduce a little bit of those lines that we're seeing on the corners in the square. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna grab a little blue and I'm gonna fade in where I see those harsh lines. I'm fading that in where we see those harsh lines. So it blends just a little bit better 
with the rest of the painting. Just blending that just a little bit more so we don't see the harsh square lines. And again, I'm doing this with blue and having it fade into the white, similar to the techniques that we were using earlier. And then let's go ahead and do that up top here as well, where we see a lot of these harsh lines. We want it to fade a little bit more. And if you notice that the blue is becoming a little bit too dark, then add a little white. Use your eye to help you blend those harsh lines so that they're not so harsh. Fantastic, great job so far. Now I'm gonna put my big brush, we're done with this for now. I'm gonna put it in my bowl of water, rinse it off, and I'm just gonna leave it in there until we need it next. I'm gonna grab my small brush and we're going to create a shape. And let's see if you can guess what this shape is going to be. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in a little bit of black and we're going to first, in the center of the painting, we're gonna draw, or a little bit to the left of the painting, we're gonna draw a little bit of a oval. Kinda looks like that. And we're gonna come down. So let's see if you guys can guess what I'm trying to paint here. Guess it yet? You got it. It's a wine glass. So we started off drawing a little loop on top, a little oval. And I took that oval, we came around, we didn't close it at the end to give it just kind of a unique little look. And a little bit of black. Continued through this oval. Brought it down. And then this is the bottom of our wine glass. I'm gonna stop right there. Then we're gonna take our black paint and draw the stem and the bottom of the glass here. And that's our first wine glass. So let's do another. We're gonna do one now a little bit higher. Let's do one up here. I'm gonna let it overlap the other one just a tiny bit. And then this one is going to close the other wine glass. There we go. Let's go back over those lines to make sure that they are fully painted. Okay, and now let's do our stem. And you can be creative on your stem you envision your wine glass to look like. Now that we have two wine glasses, why don't we make a third wine glass? 
There are sometimes wine glasses that don't have stems. So why don't we draw a wine glass without a stem? So we're gonna go on the right side of our painting. And we're, since it doesn't have a stem, the bottom of the wine glass should fall closer to here. So let's do the same with the front, the top I mean. Now, I'm going to still continue, since it's a stemless, have that whole stem, or that bottom of that wine glass, be somewhat complete. Okay. And there's our stemless wine glass. I'm going to fix this a tiny bit and have this just move up a tiny bit, so it does look like Now that we have our three wine glasses, we can't have wine glasses without wine in it. So there's two types of wine. There's red and there's white. So let's grab our large paintbrushes that are sitting in the water and let's rinse off that blue. Be sure to dry your paintbrush on your towel to make sure that the blue is out. So I know I'm a wine lover in general. I love both white and I love red as well. So we're gonna start with the middle paintbrush because I'm the middle wine glass since that's the first wine glass that we painted. And we're gonna take a little bit of yellow and we're gonna start painting the inside of our wine glass yellow. So I want the bright part of the yellow to be towards the bottom. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want to try to get that blue out of the inside of the glass. So if you can try to cover that blue, that would be ideal. Now, wine isn't really yellow. It is kind of. We're gonna add a little bit of white. So just like we faded with the blue, we're gonna fade the yellow, mostly on top, because the bottom, we want it to be a little bit deeper yellow. And then we can have this not so perfect, but kind of flowing up top. We don't want to go too far up because we don't want our wine glass to be too full. All right, and so there's our yellow. Now let's move on to our red. There really isn't any need to wash our brush and get water on it since the yellow is pretty much faded. So let's grab our red and let's paint our next glass. Red for red wine. Trying to get all that blue out. And then again, I'm gonna dip a little bit in white and have this fade a little bit into a more pinkish color towards the top. Great job. Okay. So again, let's take a little bit of our red and let's fade or highlight a little bit of that darker red down at the bottom here. We definitely want the bottom to be a little bit darker than the top. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna add a little bit of black as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of black to that bottom just to make it a little bit darker 
then the top in red. There we go. All right, looking good. So for our third wine glass, I'm gonna leave it up to you on whether or not you wanna make a red wine glass or a white wine glass. I'm gonna choose red. So similar to our other two wine glasses, we're gonna start at the bottom and we're gonna fill in our glass with red or white wine, whichever you prefer. Making sure that we take out mostly the blue. Okay. First, I'm gonna add a little bit of white towards the top so it kind of fades out. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of black towards the bottom to darken this piece. The bottom of the glass is gonna a teeny bit more. Now that we're done painting in the wine in our wine glasses, we're gonna go ahead and rinse our big brush. And let's go ahead and grab our small brush again. Now what's wine without cheese? We're gonna go ahead and draw some cheese to go with our wine. Okay. So let's take our small paintbrush and dip it in a little bit of black. And we're going to draw our cheese on the left side of the painting. And we're gonna start with a triangle. So we're gonna go like this, one down. And then we're gonna have our triangle going this way. And then we'll have the third end of the triangle meet that Once we make our triangle, let's dip our paintbrush back in the black again. Let's draw a line down here, a line down here, and let's connect those lines to make a little clump of cheese. And depending on the cheese that we have, Gouda, Swiss, there's sometimes a little bit of holes in the cheese. So let's just draw some small little circles on the cheese to kind of show that this is maybe a Swiss or a Gouda cheese. And no wine and cheese platter is complete without fruit. So let's add some grapes to our painting. And we're gonna do them back here. So we're just gonna do nice little circles for our grapes. And these can actually go behind the stem. A nice full bundle. And just to kind of make this um, 
not blend in with the gray, so I'm going to color this in slightly so that we don't get it mixed up with the glaze that are there. So let's do that to this stem as well. Okay, great. Now with the same paintbrush, let's dip our paintbrush in purple and let's color these grapes in. And it's okay if you don't paint the whole grape purple because we're gonna add a little bit of white to it as well. And it's okay if it blends as well with the black because grapes aren't perfectly purple. Let's add a little bit of white, a little bit of a hint. making sure that we try to cover that blue that was in the background. Let's finish our grapes here. All right, so now let's go ahead and color our cheese. So we're just gonna color our cheese yellow. Grabbing a little bit of our yellow here. And we can go over the black. It doesn't matter too much. Cheese isn't perfectly yellow. And we can also make our holes and our circles on our cheese again when we're done here. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little hungry. Now that we have our three wine glasses, our cheese, and our fruit, now let's just add a little bit of detail to the painting. So I'm gonna grab my small brush with a little bit of black, and I'm just gonna draw some shadows down at the bottom here to just show where the glass ends or the table where it's kind of sitting on. Let's do that to the other side a little bit. Okay. 
And then we're also going to do that for these wine glasses here. Showing where the edges are or that it's sitting on something other than the air. <laughs> I'm also going to add a little bit of accent to the glasses here with my black, just a little bit of black, same here, maybe just a little bit on the pour, this side here, a little bit on the pour, a little bit of accent there. Let's also go over our little holes in our cheese. And our salt crystals, <laughs> if you will. Okay. I'm also gonna go over the lines of the cheese here so that um, we can see the definition. to it. All right, and then I'm gonna add just a word or a saying up on top. We're gonna write wine time. So in your best handwriting, you can grab black, you can do in cursive or however you like. And we're gonna write wine. finishes our painting, now we're going to go ahead and sign our painting. Signing our painting gives it value. So I'm going to go ahead and sign my painting on the right side of this painting. And don't forget to post your painting on Instagram, on Facebook, even on TikTok. And don't forget to tag us, Paint With Faith. 
I'm Cynthia. Thank you for joining me. And remember, your life is a blank canvas. Paint it with faith. Thank you.